Hey man, you got a minute? How about two? Agent AOD wants to talk to you about something. In this episode, I want to discuss monitoring weather conditions at the racetrack. This is a website called airdensityonline.com and I would consider this to be the standard site that I have seen people use the most. They have a desktop version as well as a phone version. It is packed with a ton of very useful information and best of all, it's free of charge. How it works is you go into their database, you find the racetrack that you're racing at and you, you click on that and this will reference information from an airport that is local to that racetrack. So there's two ways to find your particular racetrack. There's a link here, it says US Tracks right there, or if we scroll, there's a link here for free weather for tracks. So we're gonna click on that. Okay, and I'm just gonna go to the very first racetrack because their, their database is huge. So what we are gonna go down to is Alabama International Dragway. So once this comes up, this is going to give us the current weather conditions for that drag strip. And I believe that this updates every 15 to 20 minutes. So these are pretty current weather conditions for this racetrack. Um, so the first thing we see up here on top is temperature, then relative humidity. And there's two barometer readings. There's uncorrected barometer and corrected barometer. We're only concerned with uncorrected barometer. There's uh, wind speed and uh, wind direction. There's dew point, saturation pressure, vapor pressure, uh, grains per pound of air, and I'll get into that in a minute. There's air density without water vapor, air density with water vapor, and density altitude. Um, now, there's density altitude and then there's track elevation. Those are two completely different values. They're both important, but they're completely different. And for right now, we're only going to discuss density altitude. Um, density altitude uh, varies constantly. It's completely dependent upon these readings. So when any of these readings change, your density altitude is going to change. Okay. Now, if you wanted to go back, um, like today's January 3rd. If I wanted to go back and see weather conditions on a different day that I was at the racetrack, there's a feature here called historical. I hit historical, the link, and this is going to take us back one day. So this will take us back to January 2nd. Um, now, if I wanted to go to another day in particular other than January 2nd, then I would type this in here. So say if I wanted to look at a day in December, I would type in that day in this area and that would take me back to that particular day but uh, for this video we're just going to look at yesterday now you'll see here this gives an hour by hour reading for the whole 24 hour period um, for January 2nd but so what we're going to look at here you can see it shows the temperature it shows the humidity it shows the uncorrected barometer and that's the only reading that it shows it does not reference corrected barometer on this page. So don't worry about corrected barometer. Dew point and uh, grains, water grains per pound of air. Think of water grains like you think of humidity. Zero water grains is dry air. 100 water grains is wet air. It gives wind speed and direction. It gives air density and density altitude. Now let's say that we were to track, we're gonna be there for a whole weekend. And we wanted to see the weather forecast. There's also a link for that. So you just click on forecast. And this will give you an hour by hour uh, forecast of upcoming weather. And this uses uh, an application called Dark Sky. And it's a very good application. As a matter of fact, there's uh, an NMRA racer. I won't mention his name, but the guy is a legend in NMRA racing. He's extremely successful and he swears by Dark Sky. So if he swears by it and these guys use it, that's good enough for me. Now water grains and absolute barometer are probably two of the most important readings. So uh, you know those those have a big effect on your density altitude. Now the items that I monitor the most, the top five items I monitor are temperature, humidity, water grains, barometer, and density altitude. 
I'm looking at those five things the most. I also monitor dew point and wind speed, but um, those other five are the ones that I monitor the most. Uh, this video I know was a little longer than two minutes, but there's just so much good information on this website that I wanted to uh, you know go over as much of it as I can with you. Um, this website is just like your timing light. It's just like your tire pressure gauge. It's a tool. It's a very valuable tool. You need to monitor weather conditions so you know what to expect out of your car. You know if it's going to pick up or if it's going to slow down. You um, monitor this and you'll know what's going on with it. We have more videos to come. So uh, if there's a subject that you guys would like us to uh, talk about, drop us a line in the comment section and let us know. And we will try and uh, work on that for you. Otherwise, this is Agent AOD saying stay tuned and keep going fast.